I'm Chris from Redmen TV. Do us a favour, do yourself a favour and subscribe to the Liverpool Connection podcast. Do it, do it now. Hi everyone, we are the Liverpool Connection podcast. This is pub chat on this joyous occasion where we lose again. Absolutely <laughs> brilliant. Uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like. All the good stuff, notifications on. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Win, lose or draw, we're Liverpool Football Club. we got to talk about the game today. Um, another tough watch. Uh, first half, I thought we played pretty well. Second half, a shambles. But um, as we always do, uh, we'll kick off with um, the team sheet today. So, uh, Steve, no, no Nunes starting. Yeah, no. Well, no, no Nunez, and then, but it was the midfield that I, I called for in our last podcast, and I think that's going to be the midfield that starts from to the end of the season. To be honest with you, Let I think we. So, Carol, go. <laughs> I think. Um, I think. Uh, I believe it. I think the only one for me is the Nunez one, and I'd go as far as saying that. If I could pick any player to have played today, if I could pick the first person, it would have been Nunes. But the fact that when he came on, he wasn't very good, and I don't know if that's because he's not 100%, I don't know, but it was a big, big shock uh, not seeing Nunes. Other than that, it was pretty similar to what I would have thought. Um, wasn't really asked about the midfield, it was more about the shape, and I thought, especially the first half, our, our shape was pretty good. Any surprises for yourself? Yeah, uh, I was surprised by the team. Um, Bajetic, while he has looked pretty good, I thought he struggled a little bit second half against Chelsea, and I thought he struggled a little bit second half today against Brighton. I was surprised he started again. Uh, now, obviously, he started because we have such a lack of options, and that Fabinho has been so dreadful. So, by the same token, I understand that, but it shows the state that we are in. Um, I was surprised that Henderson didn't start. He didn't start for a while. I was surprised that Thiago started because he has started a bunch since the World Cup. So the team sheet, the lineup, did surprise me. I agree completely, 100% about Nunes. I thought this was a perfect game for him to come up, come in and bring some energy. I also understand that he's just come back from injury as well. Maybe he wasn't 100%. But um, if we didn't realise that we had serious problems then I think everyone has to realise it now. Out of the League Cup, out of the FA Cup, not going to win the Premier League, might not get top four, and we've got Madrid next in the Champions Yeah, but I don't think from today we know we've got serious <laughs> problems. I don't think from today we've, 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 all, we've known three weeks ago. Oh, we have. We've have, known have, from three weeks ago. Got some peanuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because really I know what you mean, because there is a part of the like, I was saying, uh, I was saying at half time, I was like, if you can get through this, you've got through two really tough... FA Cup games yeah. you get you get an, an, an okay draw next and then you know, yeah, you know yeah, you're close to being in the quarter final yeah. so I do get I do get what you're saying um, Darren what was your actual thoughts um, yourself uh, on the team was there anything was there anything <laughs> I, I don't know if you really want to know my actual thoughts no well what was, I don't think anyone does yeah come in what was the question again what, what, yeah. and let's the order some drinks sorry need some. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, can I get a harp yeah I'm good thank you yeah I'm alright Thanks. What was, what, your question, what, what, was your, what was your thoughts on the team? Was there anything for you that you would have been dis- you would have uh, found differently, or what you would have done differently? I thought Hendo would have started. To be honest, I, I'm, I'm with Julian, and, and Nunes 100% should have started. Uh, but you know, again, hindsight. It's always hindsight, isn't it? Because Nunes wasn't very good. But ne- n- neither was quite a few. Like Trent was getting just down that wing. It, it just seems like every ball, every team picks the right side. But they've done that over forever, and over again. Right? But yeah, he, he's he's get he's Trent's also not getting any cover. Like you said, bring Elliot over to the right to at least try and protection. cover. And well, there's no protection for him. So I, I thought the first half, we actually... I was actually sort of happy with the, with the way we played in the first half, as in the fact of the way that we set up. Like, we were, way, we were a lot more deeper. We sort of let them have the ball. We let them, the two centre-backs, have it. We were 
like more defensive minded and then when we ha when we won it on the counter attack we did look dangerous we had a couple of moments where we um, we played the ball into Salah like we got down that right side we looked we looked quite dangerous on the counter attack so the first half like don't get me wrong they scored from it was shit shit from our point of view as in poor header from Canate and then they, they get a little bit of luck to score the goal but overall the first 35 minutes or whatever the game I thought defensively and our actual shape of our team was, was actually quite good yeah, so, I'd agree yeah. I'd agree with that I thought first half we looked alright mm -hmm. it was certainly because it's very nat it's natural to do this is that you compare it to the other game at Brian and we looked a lot better which isn't saying a great deal it's based on this game today that first half we looked all right. The yeah. problems were obvious mm -hmm. with Trent. And Trent is one of those players, when the team is playing well and we're pressing well and we're attacking well, then Trent is magnificent. But when you're not playing well as a team, then Trent is easily exposed. And he misses that, um, where you, it, would, it would previously have been Trent, Henderson and Salah, right? And that definitely would help yeah. Trent at can, times. When you I don't have Henderson in there, yeah. mm -hmm. um, that also, adds to Trent's struggles because if you look at that midfield then I think that's not helping Trent. Now, Trent is not a fantastic what, what defender. But because I, I think that Trent defensively he, he lacks confidence in his 1v1 defending. He's either he's 10 yards off and he still lets them go by him on the dribble. He doesn't really step in there tight because he he's just lacking the confidence that he can deal with situations one on one. I I really do think. I don't know if it's confidence. But well, he's one for you. Yeah, he, I, I think it is. He he's he's scared to play defense. He's just not a he's he's a good defender. He's yeah. just not a great yeah, but, defender. Yeah, yeah, but you can't let somebody go by you every single time they have hang the ball. Hang on, one second. No, but no, but hang on a minute. One second. Not. Question for you: Who right now is there a better left winger in the in the league than Matoma? Is there a better one? Mm -mm. There isn't because the fact that you just can't think of one. There isn't. There isn't Martin a better. Well, yeah, he's, he's, yeah, 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 right now. So yeah, if if we've got the best, the left best left winger right now in the league, right? Thank you. He's playing absolutely flying. Give him a little bit more protection. Don't get me wrong. Chen, no, Chen, Chen could do. Yeah, but Miller didn't have the same problems very, when he came in, mate. Yeah, they put one ball over the top. He that's it. He, he don't. He done well, but but also like but he say, was it's tighter. Part, he didn't part, let him turn around. Him. But also, you know, I agree. I think he's very fat forward at times when he's playing against him. But fucking, I'll give him a bit more attention. He's also got Henderson on that side as well. And um, I don't know. I think Trent. Did, I don't think Trent played well. But if we go back to the actual first half, I thought Harvey was. I thought Harvey from that left hand side. Although he won't give you anything going down, yeah. like yeah. down the right. down the actual yeah. sides. He was good, he was getting in good positions, and I do think that Harvey in one of those sort of attacking positions, not in a midfield three, will be will be um will definitely be his best position going forward. Um I thought Salah, although Salah some of his end product mm -hmm. I know we I know he sets thingy up for the goal, some of his end product could have been a little bit better. There's sometimes where he's he's not confident going past people, he's always looking to try and yeah. play into people, which I'd like to see him maybe try and beat defenders more, yeah. commit defenders more. Um, but generally, first half, I thought, I thought we were we were all right. To be fair, you, you know what is interesting is seeing uh, Gapko playing more of a false nine, right, than an actual striker when he's playing through oh. there. And but it's just interesting to see him do that because he doesn't have the top end pace, but it looks like he he made some good through balls, you know, yeah. past the defense, you know, on the ground, and, and um, so it's interesting to see him play that type of role on this team. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I I agree. I he was he was quite tidy, and I think like we've spoke before that that could be his. He could be the the replacement for 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 Mino, um, as like a nine or as a ten or whatever. Um, moving on to the second half. By the way, Harvey's goal was great, wasn't it? Yeah, it was great. Yeah, it was. And and we were unlucky on their goal, right? A deflection. Yeah. So. All in all, in that first half, we, we should have kind of gone there. And one cleared off the line yeah, as well. Yeah, Trent did clear one off the line. That's yeah, doesn't I mean for the first 30 minutes or so, we were all right. And then we just have like a little moment. Mm -hmm. We have little moments and like we create our own problems sometimes where... Oh, we get the ball ball away too much. We, we get the ball yeah. and we give it straight, straight back to them. Mm -hmm. And, and that, I think that's one of the most frustrating parts, not just for us, but for Klopp as well. 
He's yeah. like, going, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, we seem like we're hurried constantly on the ball. And, and Brighton weren't, weren't like... They weren't pressing hard. Pressing t- hard. He's just kept giving the ball away. Like, I mean, Thiago was the smoothest man on, on that pitch. But, again, sometimes he does it and Basetic does it on the ball too long. And then we give it straight back. It, it is. It's just frustrating it's classic, to watch. Like, it's a classic team in transition, isn't it? We have a new front three. New front three. I can't talk. Uh, the midfield is new. Mm-hmm. All right, we're missing Virgil Van Dijk. Of course, he wasn't great at the beginning of the season, but still, he's a big part of it. Mm-hmm. And you notice that our players get the ball, and it's it's not an instant reaction of okay, I know this player is going to go here, so I'm going to play into the space here. The player now is getting the ball and looking. Right, and that extra second it takes is what Brian and other teams get stuck in immediately. And it, um, the Mane loss is, of course, huge. Firmino. Um, the Firmino being out is huge, but it does. It, it, it looks like a team in transition, it looks like a team that's struggling off the pitch as well as on the pitch. Um, big changes are needed with, throughout the side, like, no doubt about that. Um, and we, to be blunt, we are in a bit of a mess at the moment, and it's hard to see what the the quick fix is because you need a quick fix. Well, I we tell have you, to get in the Champions League next season, and it's going to be one hell of a struggle. No, we're not going to get the Champions League well, unless we, we unless we win it. But well, I tell you, I, I tell you what, having actual forward yes. players that can keep the ball and like, like one thing about Mane and Firmino is that you can play the ball into them in like really tight areas and they keep the ball for us. They do. So a yeah. lot of the time what you're saying about midfielders, sometimes midfielders got the ball but they're not waiting for either someone to come for, like come deeper for the ball and just keep it and like just shielding the ball and just keep like dead dead simple stuff or maybe drawing and winning. That's where we miss I think Diaz. About Mane, Diaz is good on that. I think about Mane as well. Um, and for, like both of them really but Think about how many fouls they used to they used to get. Oh, yeah. Man, they used to get so many fouls by just like little little body movements and stuff like that, just keeping the ball. But um, it's a totally different front three. And, got, and, and also, and also, <laughs> also, you've got Jota Diaz and uh, Jota Diaz and Bobby not in the squad today. Nunes is off as well, so I think that will come. Obviously, that will come when you've got you've got more of your front three there. But going into the second half, started the game absolutely shocking, didn't we? Yeah. Like, so yeah, second half we came out um, on the back foot. We didn't look like we were pressing. Brighton looked up for it. I thought it was a shocking start to the second half. Really, I have nothing else to say about that. <laughs> Great, um, I know. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Yeah, Wilson, what's, go on. You're the positive one. Go. How oh, it was bad? Really? Go on. Um, <laughs> no, it was shy the way we started the second half and. We couldn't have pints, and so that makes it even worse. You yeah. know, it's too early to have a pint on the Sunday here. Because in Texas, there's and a real like, because a bull- cause bunch of bullshit. You can't, have, you, can't, you, can't <laughs> you can't have a beer till so ten o'clock. So. The second half kicked off. I don't remember. It's it about like eight thirty, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 So you can't, and what is it the law to explain for people? When when can you drink in Texas? Ten o'clock on Sundays. Ten o'clock on as Sundays. As long as you have people. food. <laughs> well, anyway, but anyway, we're pe- making up for lost time. Lot of pizza toast. Yeah. So second half. Yeah, we didn't come come out of the locker room, you know, playing at all. It could, know, we it had, could, we it had could, no energy. Well, it could have been a lot worse because Canuti could have been sent off. That was later on, though. That was a lot later yeah. on. It, it, it's still... Uh, no, no, it's no. But let's, Can- let's, Canate, man of the match, we agree? Everybody agree? Okay, hold that? off a minute. Hold off, because we're going way too far ahead here. <laughs> the first, ten, first 10, 15 minutes of the game, <laughs> I, thought, I thought Liverpool were really, really poor. I thought, I thought Trent particularly really struggled. Thank you, sir. Um, and the sub, although we needed subs, and I was crying out for Nunes, it really was. Yeah. I think, I think. And he came on at six. The subs, yeah. Then we sort of got a little bit into the game. I think we got a little bit more into the game. But for me, the Thiago one. Mm-hmm. I don't know why we took Thiago off. Yeah. I really don't know why we took Thiago off. Um, because then when when that happened, yeah. But why? What are we thinking ahead to? We're thinking ahead to what playing in seven days. Well, it's ten minutes. Yeah. Like that mid- having a midfield of Curtis. Fabino and uh, Fabino coming on. I mean, the, fir- the first touch was atrocious. Yeah. He should have been sent off. Um, Cannot. He should have been sent off. But but what pisses me off the most, I don't understand, is why then did we stop pressing the ball and why did we stop going way more higher up the pitch? Mm-hmm. Like the goalkeeper. I'm sure there was two times where I'm sure there was one from the goalkeeper where he just kicks the ball down the pitch. Right one, yeah. And then, That's the and, then and then I think there was one with their defender just puts it right down the pitch. You're like. 
just make your life easier. Just drop back 10 more yards and just do what we've been doing. It didn't make sense. Well, that's why... Just creating our own problems. It's a, it's a team that doesn't know... Does not have a, a specific direction all over the pitch. And, and that's been from the start of the season with the different formations, the new players coming in, the injuries that we have. It's a... It's a humongous combination of that. But if you, if you, if you just died, we're in the mess. We're no, but in. He switched the entire mid center. Hang on. He, he switched the whole midfield, and it just. You know, no, but hang on a minute. It. Just. But, but the, at the first no half, again. for the first thirty minutes of the first half, we were tighter. We were a lot more we tighter. Yeah. Yeah. The second, second half, half, we were. We were a bit more. A bit more wide, and we weren't as compact. Compact, as Benny as used to always say all the time. Like we weren't. We weren't. Like I don't understand it. Um, yeah, I don't get it. But and Kanati should have been sent off. He should have been sent off. Um, I disagree. So was it was it a foul? That's a, a foul. That's a foul. Was it a foul? Yeah, it's borderline yeah. red. It was. It's it, a foul. It's a last man. He, he could easily have been sent off for that. So yeah, like I was mean, in front of him. Yeah, it was a foul. Kanote yeah. elbowed his, his head. You don't think it was a foul? They didn't call it, so no, I don't. Think <laughs> no, it was no, foul. no, come on. <laughs> no, I, I didn't think it was a foul. I thought he. You don't think it was a foul? But the other way around, you would have said it was a foul. Well, we don't get fouls called for us. So yeah, but that matter. doesn't. Well, mean we don't get fouls. Right. Anyway, no, right. it definitely know, was. I, if Amino yeah. yeah. won, that should have been one hundred percent. So he had been on off. the pitch what longer. Was that about? He probably would have got a red card for that. I think the fact Maybe. that he was on fairly quickly. I know yeah. we saw but the I mean, you could see Gerard against Manx. But you could, yeah, but that, that was, was that. Bad. That was definitely a red. But have you seen his face? You seen Fabino's face, and he knows that that should have been a red. But when that that little 10, 15 minute spell, like Liverpool were. And, and Nunes, Nunes run product at that time it was poor, wasn't it? It's like he wanted to cut in him. It's like he was trying to, to set people up. It's, he had two opportunities where he could have either fired it across the goal or he could have even gone and shot. Um, it's from a wide angle, but I don't know. Catastrophe. Yeah, but I mean, like we were saying, you, you switch that whole midfield out and no rhythm at all. Yeah, you got to like start over again. Uh, it, it, it was just... I'm, I'm, uh, I thought Cater did all right at times. Certainly, definitely first he was, half. He was a bright okay. spark in the yeah, first half. He faded. He, he made right. those runs. Yeah, I think I think Bajetic faders as well, which is yeah. which is going to happen with him being a bit younger. Yeah. But I think the fact that he got yellow carded so early, he done all right. To be fair, that's yeah. two yeah. games in a row he's done that. But I think um, I don't know. For me, that the, I wouldn't have talked to Yago off. And if you're going to put, if you're going to put, um, if you're going to take. Put Curtis on, maybe put Curtis in one of the front three positions. I think taking him off, but at the same time, I'll be honest, and a lot of us will, uh, some of us will, some of us won't. The thought of a replay of playing them again, I would be, I'm sort of a bit like, do you know what? I don't want to have to play Brighton again. Christ, ground dog. it's like ground dogs there. You don't want to get beat, of course, you don't. But you were sitting next to me, and we were saying the same thing. Yeah, it's like we don't want to replay, but yeah, obviously, you don't want to get beat. But I, trophy, right? <laughs> well, I thought, yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, but, like, but you know, we're just saying like not another fixture that needs to be played. But you don't, you don't want to go out the way we went out in the last minute. You know, people already banging on about like Robbo and Gomez, Nunes should have taken care of the lad. The cross should never have come in. No, but I mean, he, uh, the, 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 no, it's, it's nobody, a great, nobody, it's a, it's nobody a well was set piece for But him nobody was marking him though. He, he, he was, he was yeah. by himself. How how can any, how can any from a corner? How can a lad on the six yard box basically take the ball was out it, of the sky it wasn't a and do it like a little? Bring it, down. Uh, it was. Don't get me wrong. From, from he is a wonderful footballer. He is. Yeah. He is. And no doubt, Chelsea will probably put a bid in for him tomorrow. But <laughs> he um he he is he's genuinely fantastic and he's the best player on the pitch quite easily I thought by the way McAllister I thought he is if we don't get Bellingham I'd love McAllister he is a really 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 good player um, but Matoma was the best player and it was a great goal but from our point of view how you're allowing yeah. a lad yeah. to, to take a touch like that six yard box in the corner it's just two criminal. touches before he shot so yeah. I mean, be able to it's a great and skill but and Gomez has got to do better you're turning your back where he was there like a top 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 centre back gets in challenges for that blocks it and the fact that Gomez I mean, but, that, but we also that might be really great. harsh but at the same time you know he's, 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 he's got to get and there was a few other players but he's got to get in there he's yeah. got to stop you that. he's got to block great it skill by skill. Matoma yeah 100% I mean, it was but Gomez has got to do better there yeah, so. yeah but if you don't turn your back then you're 
then you get your can't position. Turn your back. What? What? Just before we before we go into man of the match, who? What's <laughs> yeah. your thought? Yeah. What's your thoughts on our centre backs at the minute? Because obviously we've got we've got the three of them at the minute, and like if you think about those three, like Matip hasn't played now for a little bit, and it's been them two. What? What? What's your, what's your thoughts? What's your thoughts on them both? I thought Canate done well today, and I thought Gomez done okay as well. To be fair, I know. Okay, Canate was good up until like near the end when he pulled him down. He had a couple. Of, he had a couple of little moments. His distribution's got better coming out. Yeah, from it's, back. N- it's nowhere near. It's nowhere near, it's nowhere near, near Van Dijk. Yeah, Van Dijk is it? No. I, I think that they did all right. I mean, but no matter again. Is that a surprise? I think that's a bit of a surprise. I expect. I, I would have thought. I, he would have started today. I'm a bit surprised. Yeah, I, I think he, he he's just trying to forge a partnership between Gomez. Yeah, and Why though? For what reason? <laughs> For what reason? I mean, they're all made of freaking. They're all constantly injured all the time. Like, I just wonder why. I I know them. They're both more defend, more like defensive minded. Like, um, where Matip's absolutely fantastic on the ball and stuff, but. Matip in midfield. What well, is he thinking about with that. Virgil not there, and he wants to keep training on the side that he wants maybe a bit more protection with Gomez. Matip, right I think Matip's a better defender yeah. though. Matt, I don't personally, know. but anyway, man of the match. Uh, what's oh, like? But, but it wasn't that bad though. Do you know what though? It's, it's funny because that wasn't even in our probably worst ten performances yeah, this year. Right, there, was, there was aspects of it that was actually quite good, yeah. and I know people I, don't want to say anything positive. Like, People are like there, there are there are times that when we press, we pressed as a unit and that we haven't done in a long time in this season. So that that was promising, you know, when so where everybody was pressed up and yeah, who, put who, them under pressure. So, so who you who, who you thinking? For, who's your man of the match? Well, I already said Kanate. But I mean, just I thought he played well. I mean, he he should have been sent off. Yeah, but, he yeah. should have been. But but are you saying all the plays he had to make, he made. I mean, Tiago. T- 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 would have been close. It's great first off. Yeah, very very good first that's off. Great first half. And Canute played, you know, all match. So I'd, I'd I'd go with him, man of the match. Even though he should have been sent off. Uh, yeah, it's better to look at as the, as the players that came out of that game with a little bit of credit, and that would, you know, I'm not going to talk about Allison. He did all right. He did what he has to do. No errors or anything. I thought Canate did well. I thought Robbo worked hard. Tiago was good at times. Kato was good at times. Bacetich was good at times. Bacetich was good at times. Gakpo held the ball up well. So it's just a man of the match. We don't need a fucking whole thing. Well, I have to break it down because it's really difficult to pick a man of the match in a pretty crappy performance, well, we'll especially the second half. So I'll just go with Canate. Happy? Move on. Go on. What do you <laughs> He's think? He's fuming, isn't he? <laughs> but you know, he shouldn't be fuming, right? No, I am. I am. I am. But as I, I said to you, abysmal, this it? aspect. No, it wasn't You're abysmal. It wasn't abysmal. This, this well, we're out of the FA Cup. We lost to right. Brighton away. Sound. There's, there's. Okay, but but I'm saying if if you compare that to that. To, to Brentford I've seen there's aspects of that game right. today that you can say right that's what I can see what we're maybe looking to do in like six months time I'm but, it, but so that's what I'm saying to you it's not like the way horrific positive. the way positive but my man of match, match. But, sorry yeah, yeah. Ma- my man of match is, is Canate as well hey you know, although Hat trick. definitely on, should have been uh, he definitely should have been sent off I think you know, <laughs> you know <laughs> no, Wilson, Wilson that, says yeah, they yeah. never so gave it yeah Man of match should have been red carded, but that's the best we can get. But you know, you know the, um, what, what sucks about losing that game at that point is just Robbo doesn't have to commit that foul there either. You know, just stand stand the players up, play lunging in at that time, because that's what you know brings a. They're, they're looking for that. Most teams are looking for a set piece against no, us right team. now. We seem to be thinking from no, set pieces no. at the minute, don't we? Yeah, I mean, yeah that's what I'm saying. So both of them are set pieces. Both goals are from set pieces, yeah. and you think like we that that would never ever be. Yeah, this year we're very accessible to um, to set pieces. That's what I'm saying. At the at the end of the game, a minute left, just just stand you stand your guy up. You don't have to lunge in, you know, at any point at that point. So yeah, it was oh, disappointing well, we to give that free kick up. So about the Champions League anyway. I'm not asked about these little shitty little, these well, I mean, shitty. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 the, it's the small details that are the yeah, difference. Yeah, I'm taking the piss. Right, right, Darren, you want to wrap it? <laughs> I wanted to wrap it like 20 minutes ago. Four next. Yeah. <laughs> Deadline, the deadline day is coming up as well. Oh, yeah. Players, so yeah, um, yeah, deadline day. Um, can't see anyone coming on. Just can't. You know. uh, like Klopp said, we're, we're going to stick with the boys and 
and get get the lads at that injured back and you know go again. Uh, Klopp's already come out and said like you know this definitely a rebuilding year. So there's going to be more ups and a hell of a lot more downs to come. To come, <laughs> you know. So get ready, lads. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Because we will, like, we'll uh, probably go on and win the Champions what, League. Do you know what though? We I, I was, was telling you. I, I was saying this like, like sh- what what a sh- oh, I can't say it. You can. Do you know what, what a what a like shitty team we have right now? The the, the way they're playing. Yeah. You know, it's like 2005 all over again. Like. Well, we probably go on to win the Champions League. How about that? Hey, isn't it funny? Would that think, be a good season? If you think, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you think about last year, if you think about last year, and um, we were like so excited to watch Liverpool play like every two, three games. Yeah. Now, nah, like we've not got a game now until like six days, and I'm like, I'll like, be asked. I'll be asked watching these. Well, I think I, I I think somebody had said online the other day, like in the forty-seven the next like month or so we have at least like 18 days off that we haven't had in a yeah. long time and now we've got some more <laughs> more days off yeah. good so Klopp can stop complaining about not having enough time to train which is what he tends to do a lot so there's more than enough time to train there's more than enough time to start getting players back and hopefully we can do because you're right top four looks very unlikely so our one hope of any success this season it's the Champions League if that means we have to rest people in the Premier League which we probably wouldn't be able to do because of injuries anyway so be it but Champions League is our season that is it that is all we have yeah I'm not for. giving up on fourth place so but well, you, right. well, you, t- you don't you don't give up on you don't it. give up you, you just, just you have get priorities that make more sense you just right? have to be a bit realistic yeah like it's it's a a, a mountain to climb to get top four there's 18 that, games left yeah, but New- Newcastle are Which ten made, points well, ahead of us. Which, and we play, made, playing the game really we well. three games in games and and when, when, when we, we win in those games, games. we're not. When, when we, we win in those games, games, Steve, in a, on a bounce all year. Well, next two games. Can we wrap this because Wolves I need another beer? And Everton. <laughs> yeah, and then we <laughs> then we play Newcastle. Yeah. So it's a six point. All right, all right. Wolves away that we we had a hard time beating them. Right. Then Everton, who've got a new manager, so it's the new manager. Like I'm up for this. That's their match of the season now. I mean, well, it is. It's been like that since '95, hey, anyway. But yeah, I mean, it, 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 it's hard oh, to okay. think Thanks. of the positives right now, okay. especially after that loss. Um, but you know, Klopp will pick the the boys back up. Um, as he, I, I saw some silly posts saying Klopp's lost the dressing room. Load of bollocks load of bollocks he hasn't lost the dressing room these players can play a lot better um, it's just a new si- he's trying different players a new system so you know on to the next one right on to the next one alright yeah. let's wrap it up wrap it up alright well yeah. uh, thanks everyone for uh, <laughs> listening to our our tears and you know I wish it was more of a joyous occasion but you know with these pods Win, lose or draw, you got to come on, you got to talk with them. It's, it's therapy for us. Hopefully it's therapy for you as well. So uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.